Cheers, everybody. Uh, this is the uh, second week of our uh, lesson, guys. So we go on for the eighth round set, right? So we covering today the second round and the, no, I'm sorry, we covering today third round and fourth round of the eight rounds of dumbbell work. Okay, and um, I will give you some additional resistant uh, bend uh, rounds training uh, afterwards. But uh, so, going for round number three. <clears throat> uh, very simple. Okay, three pound uh, dumbbells you just hold in forward like this. Okay, just like this one. 30 seconds. And you go 30 seconds sideways. Then we go up again 30 seconds. That's minute and a half, halfway there. Then you go 30 seconds again. 30 seconds. And we go 30 seconds on the top. Okay, and that's uh, full two, uh, three minute run. Now, <clears throat> after you're done with this, make sure you shadow box, okay? Your arms are stiff, shoulders heavy. So now you strike, okay? So you just strike, you shadow box work on your footwork, head movement, your stance, okay? So you do one round of three minute shadow box, then we go for a fourth round of uh, dumbbell uh, technique, which is crisscross techniques, okay? Just like this one. 30 seconds this way, 30 seconds up and down, this way, up and down, so every 30 seconds you switch until uh, the three minute round elapses, right? That's the idea. Just like this, 30 seconds horizontally and 30 seconds vertically, just like that. And once you're done with that, another round of shadow box before we get into, uh, into the resistant rope training. So after you've done two rounds of dumbbell work, guys, I would like you to use the resistant bands, just like this one or any other one. I like this one because it has handles. Also, you can mount it to the wall somewhere. Uh, uh, just make sure when you do that, it's uh, nice and safe, so it's not gonna snap and hit someone or uh, yourself. <laughs> so keep it safe. So I'm going to grab by the handle, just like this. Wrap around underneath, keep your elbow tight, and we go for 20 straight crosses, okay? Just like that, just like that. So turn your shoulder, pivot your foot, turn your hip forward, and keeping your defense on point at the same time, okay? Then we switch, same thing you do 20 times jab, same deal. Short step, jab, okay? Short step, jab, 20 times. So once you're done with the straight punches, jab and across, then you switch to right hook and a left hook, okay? We start with the right hand first, okay? Elbows in, nice and tight, and right hooks. Turn, turn over. On your shoulder level, punches on your shoulder level. 20 of those. Then we switch left hook, same deal. Lead hook 20 times. Okay? So remember, when you turn to keep the forearm straight, right behind the wrist, okay? The elbow on the same level as the shoulder, uh, on kind of like 90 degrees angle on the hooks, okay? And as the palm, uh, I mean, uh, palm. The fist situation, you can have facing down your palm or facing you, it's your preference then, okay? Once you're done with those four sets, we go the opposite direction, which is we go in the direction of the resistant ropes. So we're punching in the direction of the resistant ropes, okay? Just like this one. Then you switch with the lead 
hand, the jab, same thing, 20 times, then hooks, right hook yours in the direction, doesn't have to be too much resistance, just a little bit, that's all, 20 of those. And switch again. Just like so. Now, after you're done with this, guys, you can do as many rounds as you want or you can, okay? Uh, but make sure at the, at the very end, once you're done with the resistance, you go for another round of shadow box. That's about it, guys, for today. Uh, see you soon. Uh, just stay active, stay proactive as much as you can. Uh, even if you don't have much room, push-ups, squat, anything helps. As long as you don't stay, just keep moving, keep training. And uh, I would appreciate if you guys could send me your videos doing this stuff, okay? Just uh, stay in touch, stay safe and healthy. Best of luck, guys.